blame the U.S. for Mexico's drug problem due to our high demand for drugs and our supply of weapons. Others believe that Mexico is solely at fault. Who do you blame? Um, I mean, there's problems on both sides, so I don't think, you know, they have to just get together at the table and, and sort things out. Obviously, in any situation, no one's solely at fault, but yes, I think U.S. demand for drugs uh, drives the whole drug industry. It's not the U.S. government's fault, it's also the population's attitude should change towards the drugs. And also, Mexican government should try their best to stop uh, drug trafficking. There's a strong perception in Latin America that the U.S. has turned its back on this part of the world. Do you think that the United States has neglected its relationship with Latin America? Yeah, I, to some degree, I think that's, that's probably true. We didn't put the resources or the, you know, the, the, uh, the personnel behind Latin American policy over the past, but you could argue that going back three decades. I don't think so. I mean, I think we forged strong partnerships with um, with Colombia, and we've really been successful in fighting the war on drugs there. And I think with this administration, there's obviously going to be a renewed focus on our relationship with that part of the world. I, I think they've spent a lot more time in other parts of the world, and um, I think uh, President Obama rightly is now starting to focus much more on the people who are very close to us in the Western Hemisphere, and I think that's a positive move. Do you think President Obama's visit to Mexico will have an impact on the drug problems there, as well as the relationship between the two countries? I think it will have more of an impact on the relationship between the countries. Um, as far as the drug problem goes, I'm, I'm not sure that a state visit from our president is going to resolve the issue. I hope so. I think, first and foremost, symbolically, I think the visit is key, um, but I really hope that there's some commitment behind it as well. Absolutely not. There's him visiting Mexico isn't going to stop people from using drugs in the U.S. or from people supplying drugs from, from other parts of the world.